Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the Wood Psych Carving Channel. Basically, uh, we're doing a relief style here, a part two from my previous video. So if you're new to the channel, check out all my other cool videos. I have a, quite a bit of them up already, so... Um, Yeah, I've been uh, busy with a day job. I haven't posted much lately, so but this is my uh, second part of the series. I think it's going to be a three-part series, definitely, because it's taken a little longer than I expected. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because uh, it's kind of a new technique that I'm exploring, which is kind of relief and uh, triptych style based on some uh, early art forms from the Middle Ages and stuff like that. Not exactly based on that, but just borrowed, idea, uh, borrowed ideas, more or less. Uh, mainly being the triptych, which you got three images there. Left is uh, basically the beginning of life I would say even though it looks like an older person but in the middle is like middle aged and then the right side is the skull representing the end of uh, life so it's pretty um, straightforward nothing too cryptic about it yeah I decided to go back to the bull nose um, saber tooth burr here just to remove a bit of more material in a faster manner you know I was working with some smaller burrs previously but um, it just becomes too tedious and you just want to uh, use that for smaller detail work but sometimes you bounce around and try different burrs at different times Mainly you want to start off with a larger burr so you can remove stuff, but you always have to be mindful that um, if you take too much off, uh, you can't replace it. So you got to be very, uh, I guess, uh, mindful of that. Yeah, here's here's a, another spherical burr I use. It's quite nice. It, it leaves a smoother surfaces after you remove the material it's not like a hard edged uh, delineations or anything like that so it's one of my favorites the spherical burr and uh, <clears throat> sped the video up as uh, you guys probably already noticed that In the project, uh, I think real time is over like 45 minutes, but I shrunk it down to less than 15 minutes. But if you want to slow the video down, you can do that in the settings on the YouTube. It's on the bottom right, I think. It's one of those menu items that on the the window you can select a speed playback and if you have problems finding it you can always google it they'll show there's a lot of people that show you how to do it so that's if uh, you're bothered by the high speed pace of the video so you can always like slow it down to your liking it's got multiple settings it's not like one speed only So that being said, um, yeah, I'm doing um, some steel wool work here, wire wool, say, say back in the UK. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite tools too. It's relatively cheap. You can buy it at the hardware store. Yeah, this is a project that uh, turned out a little bit longer than I expected, you know. I had a vision 
to do the triptych thing. Something just came across and thought one day, and so I decided to try it out. I had a rough drawing. You can see it in the, the previous first video of this series. Just a basic fast sketch of what I wanted to try to get across. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, turned out pretty good so far. I mean, I don't have any qualms except some of the bark I'm going into right around uh, this area here where the skull is. It seems like it's more deteriorated. It's not as solid as the uh, rest of the bark, so it makes things a little problematic. So, yeah, I don't know um, <clears throat> what this piece is intended for, for hanging on a wall, perhaps. Uh, I would imagine, because it's got a flat back on it, you know, and stuff, so. Yeah, this, uh, this project is turning more into like a concept piece conceptual conceptualization prototype style just like a practice to see what um see where it goes <clears throat> and uh yeah i'm glad to be done with the farming bit because now i can focus more on this stuff which is my favorite thing to do um but otherwise, I'll be doing some more pine knots as well and gathering those up. And probably, like I said in the, the previous video, I'll be having a contest for some bark giveaways. And we'll have another contest like I had a few months back. <clears throat> so stay tuned. I'll have some... Uh, info on that probably in the next video since i'm not shackled by the farm anymore i could have more freedom to go to the post office because uh i guess when it comes to farming you're pretty much uh locked in for a certain amount of time then you gotta depending on how dedicated you are if you want to work it straight through or take some time off here and there but uh, I tend to work straight through, not take a break and make a, make a decent amount of money real quick. Like I said, some weeks are pretty long weeks. They're upwards to 90 hours. So you get, you get a bit of cash for that, but it's long hours. That's the downside. But anyway, we're all through with that. So now we're uh, happy to get back uh, carving again. And then I'm going to be doing some uh, side side vlogs on my uh, building escapade where I'm starting to rebuild something <clears throat> to live in because uh, the fire last year destroyed most of my uh, property. So I'm going to rebuild somewhat try a different approach this time so it's gonna be exciting I think and you'll see I'll have some videos up probably tons more than usual <clears throat> but I'll probably need to get another camera somewhere down the line because my iPhone is just doing the brunt of every all the work editing you know filming everything so it's like the what you call it, Swiss Army Knife of uh, video production. Yeah, this, uh, this piece is based off imaginary faces, nothing from real photographs or anything, just came off, out of the top of my head. And uh, just see, see what I could do with, uh, without using any photographs. For example, Basically, it's based off the early sketch I had in the last video <clears throat> that I drew from 
just from uh, memory or you know nothing from photographs like I mentioned so, for anyone that hasn't seen the previous video I want to um, mention that um, this piece of wood um, came from Norway from Matthew Matthew's chainsaw carving and he's he was uh, kind enough to send this piece of wood so I just wanted to mention that in case anyone didn't catch that in the first, the previous video. So, big shout out to my, uh, Matt for that. So yeah, it's a, it's always kind of nice to work with different kinds of wood. So he's able to ship that out. And uh, yeah, it was a very nice surprise in the mail. And uh, I got another surprise in the mail, which uh, I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing from Mike LaFleur. He's an, an, another great guy that's uh, helped me out like since I lost some gear in the fire. So uh, we'll see what he's got in the box. So um, stay tuned for that one. I'll be having that one probably up in a, in a day or so. It shouldn't take too long to make a video on that, but... So it'll be a little twist on the video too. I'll try some different techniques with that. So should be fun. <clears throat> so yeah, shout out to Mike LaFleur for that. We'll be checking that out here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, um, other than that, just plugging along with this, uh, this project. It's uh seemingly going well at the moment there's no issues yeah i'm just sort of working on the eyes here for this uh give it some dimension where i just recess the the corners of the eyes make it more spherical give it some depth <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'm going to put some varnish on the end. We'll see. <clears throat> Might have to do a test uh, test varnish on a small chunk <clears throat> on the side. See how, how dark it gets and then go from there. So, yeah, after this project, uh, I'm going to be going back to the pine knots and cottonwood bark carvings, which seem to be much faster in execution. This one seems to be dragging on a little bit too long, but I'm not trying to be too hasty with it, but still it's like a different kind of a thing going on. So basically I, I slow down a bit when I do this new stuff. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, I have a equipment list at the end of the video if you want to check it out. You can access uh, via chapter point in the video description if you uh, <clears throat> if you want. So um, that's a feature I've been trying to implement in all my videos to make it more easier to navigate. So um, instead of like shuffling around aimlessly, trying to find out like where where. Uh, a certain technique was being used or something for example so or a specific tool being used sometimes it's chapter mark and you can immediately go to the chapter uh, to the bookmark point or whatever it is so yeah we're coming up on the end of this video um second part video is going to be ending here and I'll have a third part for the final 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 bit here more or less covering details etc so stay tuned for that and uh, we'll hope to see you all on the next one so take care everyone we'll talk to you soon okay bye